cuties. It's Friends Friday here on HQ. If you missed it last week, let me tell you how it works. In today's games, your friends' choices will pop up next to their answers before time runs out. Sli to see more and make some new mates because friends can help you win HQ. Yes, they can. I'm Shazza Carpenter, your inquisitive questioner, and this is HQ Trivia, where your brain matter can make your pockets a whole lot fatter. The rules here are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You've got 10 seconds to tap the answer. You get it correct, you move on, answer all 12 right, and you win or you split that cash. Are you playing with an extra life? I hope so. Extra lives give you a chance to get back in the game. You can use one per quiz, just not on the final round. Invite your friends to HQ using your code. As soon as they play their first game, you'll get that extra life, just like that. Now today, we have a very friendly £1,000 up for grabs. That will cover your wild girls' night out tonight, a diamond-encrusted friendship necklace, or an epic pub night with the boys. But before you swing it, you've got to win it. Let's get to the quizzing, shall we? Here we go with Q1, which country lies just south of Scotland and east of Wales, Brazil, England, Canada. Every single one of you should know the answer to this one. It may have felt like Brazil at the beginning of the week, but they're a good five and a half thousand miles away. The home of the Angles. It's England, of course. And 130 thousand if you nailed that one here on Q1. They sure apologize like one of us, but Canada is too far away to be considered part of the British Isles. Q2, what was the name of the electronics business founded by Alan Sugar in the 1960s? Artful Dodger, Amstrad, shut it. Sink or swim on this one, and I don't believe in life jackets. He's famous for his blunt quips on The Apprentice, but even Sir Alan wouldn't call a company Shut It. The only one I can't imagine him saying here is Amstrad. That was the name of the company, 116,000 of you with the electrifying win here, a contraction of Alan Michael Sugar Trading. He started the company when he was just 21 years old. Turn up the volume, it's shout out time. Hello to Rachel, Talia, Hannah, and looking for Lewis. We've got the crew at Star Count who are playing and also Rich and his gang at WM. Hi, Superfly Marketing and the guys at Haventon Close. We've got the boys at City FM and the Office Cares Up team which is Jenny, Laura, Katie, and Debbie in Derby. Also, hello to Nathan Killen and the Uni of Leicester crew. Good luck to each and every one of you moving on to Q3. The London club Ronnie Scott's, which opened in 1959, is best known for which type of music? Jazz, grime, electric funk. Very famous club. Famous for what? It's the funkiest club in Soho, but leave the electro at the door, please. Dishing out dirty beats, but keeping it clean here is jazz. Jazz Mataz, 107,000 of you talking all that jazz right now. Named after the famous saxophonist, Ronnie Scott is regarded as the cornerstone of British jazz. Q4, the 2017 UK general election took place in which month? June, April, May. Did you vote? It was just last year. What month was it? Theresa May may have called a snap election in April, but how snappy was the response? Strong and stabling her way out of spring, it took place in June was the magic month. And that was a tough one. That was a brutal question right there. Lost more than 50% of you. 46,779 of you get my vote though. Teresa's big U-turn backfired big time as she came out of it with less seats than she started with. Q5, which movie from the Scary Movie franchise was the first to be shot in HD? Scary Movie 4, Scary Movie 5, Scary Movie 2. This is somewhat of a tricky one. The original promised us no mercy, no shame, no sequel, but which of these oath breakers was the first to go HD? Horror hijinks in high quality here is Scary Movie 4. Four is the magic number, 33,038 of you are moving forth. It was meant to be the last film in the franchise, but we know what they're like with promises, don't we? Q6, which of these is not an English translation of an Italian food? Trouser leg, spider web, little worms, and suddenly I'm not hungry anymore.
They all sound utterly revolting, but which is the only one you won't eat on purpose, hopefully at least. Yucky grossness is Spiderweb. 10,484 of you got that right. We lost 20,000 of you, and I'm gonna call this a savage question here on Q6. A ton of you gone, and ouch, that hurt to watch. The spaghetti-like vermicelli translates as little worms, and if you've eaten calzoni, then you've tasted trouser leg, in case you didn't know. Q7, which of these animals cannot see ultraviolet light? Chimpanzee, salmon, hummingbird. Can't see the UV. Now we see salmon as food, but they see their grub via UV lights. Missing out on the light show altogether, it's the chimpanzee who's swinging onwards. 6,531 of you are. Now we can't see UV light either, but look no further than Dorange Trump to see the effect it has on our skin. Q8, which of these airlines claims to have invented business class? Japan Airlines, Qantas, British Airways. The only way to travel if you can afford it, which I can't, sadly. Three classy sky sailors, but who gave briefcase wielders their own section in 1979. Landing the wrong way up since the 20s is Qantas. Quantus for the win, 1,993 of you flying forward. British Airways did have a cabin between economy and first class in the late 70s, but they called it club class instead, so it doesn't count. Q9, which of these non-US shows has the most Emmy nominations to date? Sherlock, Doctor Who, Downton Abbey. Taking over the States. Well, it seems the Emmys have no time for the Time Lords as Doctor Who has never been nominated. The aristocratic award magnet itself, Downton Abbey. We all love some Downton Abbey, don't we? 1,360 if you do. Sherlock has an impressive 39 nominations, but even he was left stumped by the 69 Downton has received. Q10, which of these former Liverpool players has not scored in a Champions League final? Fernando Torres, Fernando Morientes, Dick Cowts, or Dirt Cowts, excuse me. Three prolific net botherers, but who has yet to score when it really counts? Lil El Nino himself is Fernando Torres. That's the answer we were looking for. 5.99 of you scoring big here on Q10. Spanish striker Torres scored for Chelsea in the 2013 Europa League final, but never bagged one in the Champions League final. Nah, he didn't. Are you going to bag this one, though? Here we go with Q11. Which of these politicians was not educated at Exeter University? Caroline Lewis, Sajid Javid, Emily Thornberry. Great uni. Lots of cool people have come out of there. It's the uni that gave us J.K. Rowling and Radiohead frontman Tom York as well. But which of these MPs studied in Kent instead? The shadow foreign secretary himself or herself is Emily Thornberry for the win here. 292 of you with a thorny win. More to board hats that they're ready because we are graduating on to the final round. 292 players left in the game right now. 1,000 pounds up for grabs. This is gonna be a good one. Q12, which Universal Studios theme park attracted the fewest visitors in 2017? Orlando, Osaka, Hollywood. I've been to one of these, but is it the right one? The Osaka Park may be in Japan, but it attracted a whopping 15 million visitors that year. The whole place is based around blockbuster movies, so obviously it's not gonna be Hollywood. Plot twist, it totally is, is Hollywood for the win. Here on Q12, we have 169 winners, my darlings. Nice one, right there, congrats to our 169 winners. Standing tall this afternoon, we've got John's Van 101 looking like an owl. We've got Alana 13, nice picture ladies. We've got MGC 17, what are you doing in that pic? 
and we've got Rim Porter and a bunch of other winners as well, taking home five pounds and 91 P. What are you going to do with the cash? Hit a jazz club tonight, perhaps? Eat some little worms for dinner, or trouser leg, or cobweb. Whatever takes your fancy, there's a lot you can do with that five pounds. Great game, HQTs. Hope you had a blast like I did. I'm Shazza Carpenter. As always, you can find me right here. Come say hello. Let me know how you did today, all right? And remember, Friends Friday is in full effect on HQ. Connect your contacts, add your friends. They might just help you win tonight. And of course, our next game is at 9 p.m. with another chance for you to score one thousand pounds until then have a great day and i'll see you in a few bye Woo!